Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Tito James. And I'm Leah. And in this one, we're taking a look at the new Samsung Galaxy S21 series. And we're doing this facts and opinion style, meaning we'll start with the facts, meaning the specs, and then we'll share our opinion based on the time that we had with the device. Remember, these are just our opinions and user experience may vary. But anyway, let's get into it. The Samsung Galaxy S21 series comes in three variants. The base unit, which is the S21, the bigger version, which is the S21 Plus, and the top of the line S21 Ultra. They all have what Samsung calls the contour cut design, which seamlessly integrates the camera module into the entire look of the smartphone. Now, the base unit comes in two colors, Phantom Violet and Phantom Gray. The Plus version comes in Phantom Violet, but instead of gray, you get a silver color and the S21 Ultra will come in phantom black and phantom silver. And while the S21 Plus and the Ultra will have a glass back, the S21 Vanilla will come in glass stick material. For the display, the S21 series comes in three different sizes. The base unit, which has a 6.2-inch display, the Plus variant, which will have a 6.7-inch display, and the Ultra, which will have a 6.8-inch screen. Now, while all of them supports 120Hz refresh rate, there are several differences to take note of. Of course, the Ultra will get the best of the best with a dynamic AMOLED display that has a Quad HD Plus resolution. And yes, unlike previous Samsung flagships, you can enjoy 120Hz refresh rate at Quad HD Plus when using the S21 Ultra. The S21 Plus and the base variant both get an FHD Plus AMOLED display and the screens are flat versus the curved ones that we've seen in previous S-series devices. All right, so now let's move on to the cameras. And actually, the vanilla version of the S21 and S21 Plus share the same set of shooters. We're getting a 12 megapixel wide angle camera at an aperture of f1.8. This is the main camera. And of course, you also have an ultra wide angle camera also at 12 megapixels at f2.2. And lastly, a 64 megapixel telephoto lens at f2.0. And there's no crazy space zoom on both these models as well. For taking selfies, both have a 10 megapixel front camera at an aperture of f2.2. For new camera features, all the S21s now include director's view, which allows you to use both the front and back cameras, and the AI on Samsung's signature single take has also been vastly improved. The S21 Ultra, on the other hand, still packs some serious heat with the 108 megapixel main camera at f1.8. You're getting the same 12 megapixel ultra wide camera at f2.2, and you're getting two 10 megapixel telephoto cameras, one of which gives you access to that space zoom. Speaking of which, they also included a new feature that will make taking photos at 100 times zoom a lot easier, and it's called Zoom Lock. They also learned their lesson from last year's model and included a laser autofocus module on the S21 Ultra. Now moving on to the processing package and we're getting Samsung's newest flagship processor on the S21 series, which is the Exynos 2100. And if the benchmarks that we've seen so far are to be believed, then we're getting really excellent performance out of these new processors. By the way, the base model has this paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, while the S21 Ultra will have 12 and 512 respectively. Hey guys, Tito James here. As you can see, I'm editing the video that you're currently watching right now. And there was something that I noticed with the footage that we had. We forgot to do a nice little transition into the opinions part of this video. So I guess this is it. These are our opinions on the new S21 series. This is an easy one for me. I go for the S21 Vanilla. Yes, I like the base unit best for two reasons. First is it's small and I have small hands, so we're compatible in that sense. And second is it's not so heavy. Of course, the size also has something to do with this. And another reason is the material. It's made out of plastic. The back is plastic, And I can imagine may mga magreklamo dito. And I totally get it. It is a flagship device with a plastic back when you'd expect it to be glass but for me in terms of practicality and weight it just works plus i have to say that 
Samsung did it very well. It's a very good looking glass stick back. Actually, if pagtabihin mo sila ng S21 Plus, it's very hard to tell the difference. And I also have to say that I'm in love with the phantom violet color. I think it's just so my aesthetic. I have nail polish of the same color. I have shoes of the same color. And I think that it goes very well with the mystic bronze touch that they added, which is something that I also fell in love with, with the Note 20 Ultra. Now, in terms of overall design, I really like what Samsung did with the contour cut of all these smartphones. I think it looks really sleek, but if I were to choose one model, I do have mixed feelings since the size of the vanilla S21 does fit in hand nicely, but I do prefer having a larger screen size. So it's either the plus or the ultra for me. Having a bigger display makes watching videos a bit more immersive, which is what I lean towards too. I also think that knowing you have premium materials since you are getting a glass back on the S21 Plus and Ultra fits my expectations of what a flagship phone should be. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on the glass stick on the vanilla S21 since I did get fooled a little bit. Plus, we're all slapping a case on these phones anyway, so it really does come down to screen size. This is actually a no-brainer. It's the S21 Ultra and it should be because it's ultra and it's the most expensive one. And among the three, it's the only one with a QHD Plus display that can support 120Hz refresh rate. Finally, pwede na rin kasi before, if you go for 120Hz, mag FHD Plus yung resolution, de ba? So Samsung Listen and we can finally enjoy that in the S21 Ultra. And another thing is it now has a flat screen and this is a more practical way to go. I totally get it. But I have to say that I do miss having the, the curved screen just because there's a certain elegance to it. Pero yes, it's very sensitive. So kailangan talaga sobra sobrang ingat. And for those of you who want to use an S Pen, and for the first time, you can use an S Pen on an S series phone. So I think that's great. But take note that it only works on the Ultra. So hindi siya pwede for the S21 and the S21 Plus. All you have to do is to buy a case with the S Pen, and yeah, you can take down notes, you can put your signature in documents, it works. But all the frills, like the air gestures, or using it as a shutter for taking photos, nope, hindi pwede. So I'm hoping that this is something that they can fix with a software update. I do have to agree with Leia on this one. The S21 has the best display among all the S21 series smartphones right now. Plus, it checks all the boxes for me. You have Samsung's trademark AMOLED displays for those inky blacks and vibrant colors, the fast refresh rate, but having that higher resolution also makes the pixel density deserving of a chef's kiss. Of course, the major drawback there is going to be the battery life, and we'll have to see how long the S21 Ultra actually lasts when we get one for review. Yes, actually, I like the cameras. I took a lot of photos during our time with the device, and I was just amazed by the clarity of the shots, by the dynamic range. I have this portrait that's taken against a big window at noon, and I'm just amazed that you can still see my face clearly, even though it's against the light. And I'm also enjoying this new feature called Director's View. It allows you to use the front and the back camera simultaneously. I know nakita na natin to in non-Samsung devices, but hey, I think it's still a very good feature. It's something that vloggers and you know people who just want to share their life on social media. Very helpful. There are also improvements on the single take feature. I have to test it out more, but I'm excited because this is one of my most used feature on Samsung smartphones. Of course, it's a bit too soon for me to give a concrete answer on whether or not the cameras are great on the new S21 series, but based on what I've seen so far, I think they deserve a thumbs up. Well, it looks good on paper. I haven't really fully tested out the phone. Again, we only had around three hours with it. But from what I've seen when I took 
photos, when I tried the 8K video, it didn't lag. So I'll take that as a good sign. But again, kailangan pa talagang masubukan bago, bago namin mabigay yung verdict regarding this new Exynos processor. So I'm definitely excited about these new Samsung flagship processors because again, based on the benchmark scores we've been seeing, it finally looks like they've caught up to their Snapdragon counterparts. Of course, real world use matters more and that's something we're gonna have to see once we get the review unit in hand. But again, very excited. Hopefully it lives up to the hype. The S21 has a 4000 mAh battery, the Plus has a 4800 mAh battery, and Samsung says that they improved on the intelligent battery, meaning it should drain slower, and I definitely hope so. I want my phones to last me the whole day, and honestly, this is one of my pain points in some Samsung devices. Na uubusan ako ng battery bago matapos yung araw. So I'm hopeful that this new effort um, that they put into this phone really works. As for the charging, it's at 25 watts. I wish it's faster. We've seen it on other devices. But then again, 25 watts isn't bad. So again, I definitely agree with Leia. You know that we're Samsung users. She uses a Note. I use the S20 FE. And the battery life is the pain point for these smartphones, unfortunately. And we're eager to see what their new intelligent battery can do. But again, more testing has to be done. We have to take this phone out. It has to be our daily driver to really see if their battery or their intelligent battery actually works and how much it does prolong battery life. I go for the S21, the base variant, because of several reasons. First, it's a perfect size. Second, it comes in the color that I want, which is Phantom Violet. Third, it takes really good photos. And fourth, well, it has the same chipset as the more expensive Plus and the Ultra. It would have been perfect if it had a QHD Plus resolution and if it supports the S Pen, but then again, Overall, I think that it's a really good phone and I would, yeah, choose it among the three. Okay, so now in terms of which S21 phone I would choose, I'm very much on the fence between the Ultra and the Plus. I like it now that the Ultra has S Pen support since I signed documents and you know how much of a sucker I am for big displays. But if you look at the value propositions for both these phones, in my personal opinion, I think I would go for the Plus. I know it has some compromises, but I think I can optimize its feature set more than the Ultra. So again, that's just my opinion. I'm going for the Plus. And there you go, guys. Those are just the facts and our opinions about the new Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Of course, we can't end this video without talking about their price tags. All right, so the S21 Vanilla, meaning the base variant, is $49,990. The S21 Plus is $57,990. And the Ultra is $69,990. I'm sure meron to mga 0% installment mm. options based on the banks. And we'll leave the, de the details down below for those. But you can start pre-ordering these phones starting tomorrow, which is January 15 to 28. And then you have 20,000 pesos worth of freebies. It's going to be all down below, all the details. Pero since hindi kasama yung charger, one of those freebies is the charger. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this video. If you like our new facts and opinion style, let us know in the comment section so we can make more of mm -hmm. this type of content. And yeah, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, follow us on Facebook <laughs> and on Instagram. What are you doing? My name is Leia. My name is Tita James. Peace. God bless. See you guys next time and stay safe. Bye.